The thing I probably these days remember best about the farm is how good the food that we had. My parents were sort of pretty gregarious and there were always a lot of like artists, composers, authors there for lunch and some of my father occasionally um, business friends from abroad and he used to used to say everything that we we're eating at lunch came from the farm and I you know I used to roam the fields I mean in those days I mean you know I can re I can remember at about eight or nine sort of tinkering with the sort of old tractors and undoing bolts and things with my friend Les yeah I mean I look back with some um, great great nostalgia for those times in Oxfordshire, in the Cotswolds. Actually, the, the memoir is peppered with, um, with sort of references to music. In my sort of uh, last year at Oxford University, I, I was rather taken with the number of mobile discos that were around. And um, so I, I built one. And um, I suppose I was trying to be a bit sort of hippie-ish and slightly druggy it now seems a bit pathetic but I called it the purple tiger and um, I started doing parties in Oxford and then I, I bought it to Cornwall and it was enormously successful so when I finally um, came across this club I was actually this restaurant where we're standing was a nightclub in Padstow and we took it over intending to it to make a make it a very nice sort of peaceful club but it was not to be because the only customers we could really get in on a regular basis were fishermen and um, they used to fight quite a lot and eventually, sadly, we got our licence taken away because of some of all the trouble being caused. There's the sort of guys that would have come into the pub and uh, basically what I did was to open the restaurant because the club was closed down and a lot of the fishermen that had caused trouble in the in the club ended up as selling me fish and <laughs> so it was sort of good in the sense that I got to know so many local Padstonians that they looked after me with fish. I sort of started writing um, recipes really as far back as the early 80s from a, a magazine called Woman's Realm and on the back of the publicity for that I just came to the attention of a, a director that was working with a chap called Keith Floyd and he decided to um, have a go with me and Keith filming in the restaurant. And I remember it was just an, an afternoon like this and I cooked a dish of roast sea bass with a sorrel sauce and there was a trawler like one of those over there and he just said no we'll put it on the back of the trawler and I was having such fun the whole thing was like life in TV yes I like this and I put a sort of caption under the photograph in the book of me and Keith on that day saying me and Keith sailing away to a new life on TV. Chalky was such a character and basically we used him wherever we could. And I think the, David, the director, has got enormous time for it. His skill was just to use just so much of chalky, not quite enough. So people ended up, somebody only told me yesterday, actually, we were waiting for chalky. You were fine, but it was chalky we really wanted to see. <laughs>